So Rag, use the Cobra to kill it. Yes. Yep. Why is it really throwing me off? Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, it really doesn't make sense. I mean, it is using the same camera, so I don't understand why it should look different from what I'm seeing. It's the add look to filter. <laughs> Have you tried uh, playing around with the options, the settings? It's on the top of the of the uh, you know uh, hangout screen. Hmm. I don't know if you could like find a different feed source or, or something. Is my shield. What's the oh. point? Huh. Two. Oh, one damage off. Hello, guys. Uh-oh. I have officially lost sound. Uh, so, I can't hear you guys. I don't know if you can hear me. But I actually can't hear you guys. Like, neither of you. So, I'm going to play this. Because I can't hear you, and then we'll figure out the audio. Yeah. Okay, good. So I'm still streaming. It's Google Hangouts that's messing up. I don't know why. I clicked Google Hangouts and now I can't hear anything from you guys. Hold on. Uh, I'm going to hang up. Can you guys heal me? Hear me? Uh, uh, Murps, you can like type oh, in something. Can you guys hear me? Or... Okay, you, you can hear me. All right. I just can't hear you. Hey, he has a Valen. And he did something with it. And he's still dead. Okay, I'm just gonna end this game. And then I'll, I'll fix this audio issue we have. My seal for Argus! All right, let's let's try to fix this. Okay, Google Hangouts. Let me let me try this. Uh, I'm going to leave and then rejoin. All right, that's probably the easiest way to fix this. All right, invite me back. All right, there we go. All right, I can hear you guys again. All right, you good? That was so weird. All right. I clicked the window and it did something. Uh oh. Okay. God, why is streaming so hard? For real. The chat doesn't like how you uh, could have BM'd with the ooze there. Uh oh. What? Miss BM. How? Oh, that's true. I could have BM'd with the ooze. Ugh. Could you uh, flip my camera? Can I flip it or did I flip it? Can you flip it? Mm, I don't think so. I think I'd feel a lot better about myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more confident, resulting in a better place in these games. Whoa. Just, just, just wear a beater, man. Huh? What, just wear a beater? Yeah. I could. But uh, I don't want to outshine you, Mertz. Oh, that's true. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Uh, let me figure this out. Ah, oh, there we go. Nope. Nope. This just made this window bigger. This what is like odd worked off failing at figuring out how to do the streaming thing. Oh my god. What is this window? Why is it so big? 
<laughs> what is happening? <laughs> what is going on? Are you using OBS right now? Yeah. Uh, okay, hold on. Hold on. Screw this shit. I'm just going to make a new one. I'm going to re-add this window capture. Hmm. God, oh why is this so hard? Okay. Hangouts. Okay. Nope. <laughs> Wrong window. <laughs> now they see my friends list. Nope. Again. Wrong. The chat is loving it. I, I, I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> Sponsored by Coke Zero. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? What what is this? This is like the best time on stream that we've had so far. <laughs> okay. Lost. Okay, what the hell? This is really concerning me now. I can see you guys. This is called Google Plus Hangouts. I'm going to now add this freaking thing called Google Plus Hangouts. And I'm going to click okay. Nope. We're we're back to this. Are you using the whole window or using a uh, part of the window? Uh, I'm using the, the inner window. Should I use the entire window? I never use entire window. No, entire window is ugly. I mean, sometimes the inner window really gets screwed up. I've, I've, went, I've been through this before. OK. Did you try remaking it? Yeah, I remade it, and it didn't work. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm going to exit and come back. Guys, this is, if you have never streamed before, this is so. These things just happen, and then you feel like a total idiot. Whoa! You don't need to invite me again. I'm in here. Oh, okay. But now everyone hears you calling me. Your merps are out so you can't see them, vice versa. It's okay, you don't really need Hey, it's working. No, it's working? It's working. We're good? Okay, you guys are huge, though. I'm resizing you in a really stupid way. <laughs> All right. I don't know why they made you guys so big. There we go. There we go. See Merp's Whoa. face. Now there you see go. rats. Oh my god. All right. You're wow. That's huge. <laughs> You're really scaling that thing down. <laughs> okay, hold on. I'm going to make it a little less. Okay. This All is. Right. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. No, no, no. Why? Why must you do this to me? Is oh, come frozen? on. Oh, come on. Seriously? It was working. And then I tried to resize it. And the Google Hangouts was just like, no. It's okay. You don't need our. You don't need our picture. Yeah, exactly. We can keep on going. Hold on. No, no, no. This is this is now a matter of pride. There we go. There we go. <laughs> now you're huge again. What is wrong with Google Hangouts? <laughs> I hope I, I hope uh, Chad is having I think fun it's with OBS. this. Is it? Yeah, it's probably OBS. Yeah. For some reason, right. I don't know why OBS does this sometimes. For the most part, it's pretty good though. Not. It's always when you work with the inner windows for, uh, like, the window capture. There we go. Okay. I, I, I made you guys a lot longer. I thought this was a course on how to stream. I want my money back. <laughs> okay, we're good. We're good. Thanks for staying with us, guys. We're now going to update the record for our successful win over that super confusing priest. <laughs> no. All right. In the chat. All right. By the way, okay. Let me actually take this opportunity. Um, I want to thank uh, Shokunin, who's in the chat right now. He's modding, and uh, thank you so much for you know helping out with the chat. Like, there's no way that um, we can manage. Uh, because we're playing the game, so thanks a lot, man. Thank you, Shokunin. Yeah. Okay, game two. Versus Another priest. We definitely don't want to match up against priests and uh, druids. That's our worst matchup. Begin. Yep. Um, but yes, we tossed the kill command and burly rock jaw. I want to keep that going, anyways. 
Yeah. Man, I'm gonna play Echoing Ooze on turn two versus uh Warriors just to see what they do. <laughs> Cleave. <laughs> I know, but I'm like, ah, you know, it's uh, it's a one for one. Yeah, it's a one yeah. for one. Uh, probably just pass here. I mean, <laughs> I'm updating Earth Arena really, really slowly. <laughs> Because <laughs> it took yeah. me so long that we timed out. People were having this problem. We're going to try to get it fixed uh, over the weekend and have an update like really early next week. Because there is there is this issue with the tracker where if you don't keep clicking save, it just like logs you out. Whoa, whoa. Why are people talking about Pepsi in the chat? That's not allowed. Guys. We still have Queen Ooze here. Okay, yeah. Alright, okay, I'm back. I'm back. The priest coined something out. Well, I can't Shadow Word, uh, I'm not Shadow Power Word. Uh, this could be really good for us. I'm guessing Animal Companion? Yes, it can be very good for us, right? Even at worst, it's still okay. Yes. Oh, yeah, there we right, go. Right when you started thinking about the uh, the uh, Huffer, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I was like, first I thought Leoc, and then I thought Misha is pretty good, and then... Like, and Huffer. then you suddenly get to Huffer, you're like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Huffer really is just okay here. Hmm. I mean, the face damage really isn't as nice against the, against the Priest. Yeah. yeah. If he doesn't have a Shadow Word Pain, he's on the on the screwed side. Yeah, I mean, even if he does, the Shadow Word Pain's on three, and we we initiate on uh, turn four. That's true. For our turn. Although we defender. don't have a good turn four play. Defender of Argus. Ooh. Oh man. Oh wow. Are you serious? Why did he do something weird? No, his play was just Athlete of Pain. That's really good. Yeah. We win. Yeah. We just win. That's so slow. That's so slow. Yeah. So yeah. we defender of Argus these two guys. Um, let's try to set up in a good way for a uh, first kind of, kind of removal. It doesn't look like we can do that. So forget that and just <laughs> just play defender of Argus. Do I play it on these two guys or these two guys? Which two guys slime. do I play? I'll play on the two two slime guys. Yeah. I don't okay, think it good. makes uh, too much of a difference here. And then just get the free kill on the uh, the fair dragon. I guess it does make a difference. We edge out one extra damage on his face rather than uh, overkill the fairy dragon by one. Mm -hmm. Do I go to the face? Yes. And I would go to the face. The hawk into the uh, fairy dragon. Into the fairy dragon. Oh, that's setting up for the setting up for the holy nova. Though he used the coin yeah, already. He can still do that trade, right? He could always holy nova and hit the uh, fairy dragon into the leon. I'll say that's this: true. we we get eleven damage to spend however we want next turn because he he doesn't have the coin. Mm -hmm. That's true. And plus, whenever the problem with Holy Nova, he is way too slow. He's letting us uh, rebuild on the board after Holy Nova, because mm -hmm. he can't put up put his own threat on there. Okay, we just Dark Iron, take the free kill, and then we uh, mm. we go play Web Swinger. Do we trade in our three one? No. No. There's I know no what you're, you're take, thinking about taking a hedge for Holy Nova, but yeah. it's not worth it here. Okay, so we put the plus, uh, so we trade our 3 3 in and our other 3 2, so nothing dies. Yes. So, I mean, a hedge is fine, but not. The upside of not taking the hedge is just flat out winning the game here. The downside is slowing down. Yep. Right? Do we put, play the web spinner? I guess we do. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I would have definitely hedged that. I don't think the hedge is bad. I think it's fine. It does. It, it gives us a two-one on the board, right? With the uh, defender of Argus. Uh, well, yeah, the two-three. Yeah, well, two-one if he uh, uh, if he holy novas with the uh, the dark iron still at a four-two. Yeah. yeah. He doesn't oh, have a holy dead. nova. He's just dead. It's over. Yeah. So we just flat out win the game. Yep. Seven, ten, thirteen, sixteen, eighteen. And it's good to uh, note that even if he did have holy nova, it really wouldn't be enough. It'd be way too slow to play. Whoa. Why? Huh? Oh wait, wait, sorry, sorry. Do we have lethal? Do we not have lethal? Someone just said we just we win the game. Off. Oh, I heard someone say we just win the game, so I just started doing I, this. 
Yeah, yeah okay, I mean... Yeah, we're, we're one off! I mean, that's fine, that's fine. Okay. Someone you said, oh yeah, game. we just win the game, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> um... Murps. Stop confusing wait, me. No, that was me. That was me. Oh, that was you. Okay. I took we just win the game to mean we have lethal, and I'm like, I'm not gonna count this up. No, wait, wait, wait. Okay, but let's let's clarify. Winning the game does not mean you have lethal. It's true. It's Thank true. You, I interpreted it Thank in a very you. different way. <laughs> I think we just we just speak the same language, but just yeah, yeah. No, no, I, I, because you look at it that way, and there's no way he's. He's winning, but right, that doesn't right. no, mean that's true. he that's true. had already won. <laughs> that is yeah. true. It's okay, but that's general. This is generally how we want the games to go. And yes. whenever an opponent plays something like Acolyte of Pain or skips their two drop, three drop, four drop, game over. Mm. Right. Like uh, Rats and I made that kind of like cry on turn three because we're like, it, it's oh, he had to drop something substantial. Yeah. Acolyte was done. I, I, I don't know if he saw potential value in like because nothing had didn't to have attack a on the board but yeah. like versus a hunt I mean if he honestly yeah. believes that Acolyte is going to get him cards and save him then so wrong. Whoa yeah. your voice just got really loud all of a sudden Merps, in Rexa the middle of that sentence. Yeah that was weird. <laughs> for emphasis for wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait wait seriously though you have to like move your mic out of your <laughs> mouth or yeah. something. It's at the same place it's always been. Oh god, it's your, uh, do the th adjusting thing that I told you about. You remember the adjusting thing? Okay. Merbs' mic has this really bad habit of just like auto turning off for no good reason. Oh wow. Um. That's, that really wants to hear you. Um, we definitely don't keep force or the explosive trap. We gotta kinda think of the animal companion. It's a good turn three play. Um. Abusive Sarge really gets a lot better with Web Spinner. We could try to keep it, it wouldn't be bad. We could draw into Haunted Creeper, the uh, the Slimes, or one of the two uh, Web Spinners to make it really good. But I would probably toss... Maybe toss it all in a way. Eh, I'll keep one Animal Companion. Animal Companion is a very strong 3 play, and you have a coin, yeah. so... Yeah. If only we had a Web Spinner here, though. Mm. Okay. It's a good toss okay. of the abusive sergeant because we. It's like a 50 is, uh, 50 to get a, that one drop. Is this better? Yeah, it's much better. Okay, good. You're back to normal. Alright, alright. Do we coin out the youthful? Uh, no. We don't have a follow up play. So just pass. Okay. We gotta. So I have like a big thing with like. Uh, like player two having a disadvantage, I think you always have to make good use of uh, the coin for you to get that advantage back. This hand sucks. Yep. <sighs> wow. <laughs> Awkward. What's less valuable, explosive shot or frostwolf grunt? Probably the Frostwolf Grunt. It's a little explosive shots a little bit better against uh Paladin. Against Paladin. That's true. Yeah. Throw it Maybe out. Maybe it'll be a repentance. What do you want? Yep. Nope, not a repentance. If why did this card suck so much? So bad. No! Huh. Reporting for duty. <laughs> Still bad. Mm. I mean, we just I, play animal. Yeah, game. I don't see a choice. Yep. That's, that's actually fine. good. Yeah, that's actually not bad for us. And here's like a check. If he has a true silver, I'm sure he'd use it here. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. a lot of one ones. Not on my watch. Our food for our
This could be a pretty good, a pretty good uh, spells of trap. He's not actually going to play into it, though. Are we going to get more value out of Explosive Trap in the future? I wonder. Like, I... She's very awkward. I, I mean, this is kind of why Explosive Trap is bad, right? Yeah, yep. definitely. Yeah. <sighs> this is why it sucks. So he has four six damage on the board. If we play an animal companion here and not don't activate the avenge, mm -hmm. um, it's likely that it's not likely. It is likely that we'll have eight points of health on the board, and he yep. only has six points of damage. I think we just animal companion, hit face with the Leoc, don't activate avenge yet. Yeah. Okay. Now we definitely do this. Um, do we coin out the explosive trap? Save him out of this turn. No, uh, that's fine. It doesn't we probably don't need the coin anymore? I think that's fine. It'll it throw just him off. Prevents, like, it prevents like sword and you know continuing to hit our face with his eight damage. Yeah. Or no, eight, I, six damage. Yeah, I think yeah, it's fine does. too. I think it's fine to play it, is what I meant, but yeah. it's fine. Oh. This is fine too. Okay. Oh, he's not even gonna go for it. Well he's gonna hit his sword. Oh, he's gonna kill the Liak with the sword. Alright. Good. Someone in the chat says coin ogre. I mean coin ogre trades with both. Yeah. I think it's fine. It's just ugly. That's what it is. We didn't pick up a single unleash, right? Nope. No unleashes. We do have the explosive trap in our hand. I mean, the explosive shot in our hand. Yeah. <coughs> and we have another one in the deck. So. Let me think. It's just like really zoomed in, that's what it is. Can you go into your options and uh, make a zoom out? I'm looking through uh, like settings. There's no like zoom out function yeah. here. There's usually like a separate thing. What, what kind of camera are you using? Uh, just like a Logitech. Yeah. Camera. Doesn't the Logitech thing pop up? Like the Logitech app or whatever they call it? Oh, that that's installed on my computer? Yeah. It's not a big deal. The stream already knows I'm super handsome. <laughs> I don't need to prove it to them. Yeah. It seems to be bothering you a little. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so here's what I see. We expose a trap. He's going to attack into it. Um, mm -hmm. He's going to have a 4-2, mm -hmm. buffed by the Avenge. That's going to be a 5-6-4. Uh, we can sh explosive shot the 6-4 next turn. Yep, um, that makes sense. What if we ever Cobra, actually? Whatever. Well, cobra. no, if he attacks into it, it doesn't actually activate the Avenge. Because his secret oh, won't right, activate right, on right. his turn. Interesting. That actually might mm. be better. Then we can expose the shot, the bigger thing, yeah, utility. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Okay. So do we just explosive yeah. trap and tap? So seems, weird. Yeah, it seems very explosive trap. slow. How would he kill a Leopard Cobra from 4 4 into him? That just means that he's going to play something really big. Uh, yeah, I guess we explosive trap. Uh, that's fine. Oh, maybe play U full. Maybe he might go for the free kill on the U full. Yeah, U full explosive. Uh, I wonder how he would do it. He'd probably run the 2 2 in there, right? I mean, he would run the 2-2 two, two into the 3-2, and then trigger yeah. the explosive trap. I think I think we just lost the youthful. I'm not sure how yeah, useful it was, right. but but yeah, I'm not unless sure. He, he, unless he thinks we're really mind-gaming him real, real hard. Yeah. Oh my god, he thinks oh, we're mind-gaming him. He thinks we're mind-gaming him. The play was so <laughs> genius. <laughs> <laughs> 
that actually happen? Okay, okay, he had a reason for that. He had a reason for that. Whoa. I mean, we, still, we still kill it, right? Elite Torn Chieftain. Yeah, I mean, everything still dies if he attacks our face. He has to know that. Yeah, and we're, our multi-shot just gets better here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's just building a board. Reporting for duty. Yeah. This is what you should do when things are supposed to trap. Yep. Wish <laughs> rude. <laughs> um. Jeez. It's the avenge makes it so much worse. It's it makes yeah. it really hard to calculate what what will actually happen. Obviously, if we play anything, he's going to trade his skies into it. Yeah. He's 2-2 two, two and 3-2, one, 1-1. One. It almost we, seems pointless. I would yeah. just hear power pass. Yeah, same here. We're in a, it's, yeah. a, it's a tight spot. He knows what we have as a secret. We know what he has as a secret. He can build the board all he wants. He's still afraid of an unleash. Yeah. It, ex explosive trap cost us 7 plus 2, 9 mana so far. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yep. Chat is saying, Ungov and turn lethal. Reporting for duty. He's not triggering it still. It's fine. He can't play any more minions. Yep. So we just do the same thing again? I suppose so, yeah. Yeah. Like, we can't, we're committed to this play. <laughs> yeah, we are. He's gonna be left with a 5-5, five, 2-1, five, 5-5. One, five, five. one of them will get buffed up. 5-3. No, 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 none of them will no. get buffed up. None of them will get buffed up. Oh right, I keep I keep thinking. Uh, that's true. Yeah. Yep. That means we have a pretty good multi shot here. Yeah. Only multi shot, multi explosive shot. shot. Not the right ones to attack in with. Now you attack the face <laughs> with the rest of your people. This game is getting way too tricky. Ooh. That's good placement. Yeah, it's a very good placement. <laughs> we kinda need the multi shot and deadly shot to hit, huh? We need the multi shots to hit the two five threes. Yep. And the Avenge the buff to 2-7 and then yep. win a 33% shot, shot at Deadly Shot. I believe. Let's Chat, do it. Do believe. Let's believe. It's our only option, right? Is there anything with Explosive Shot, Multi-Shot? Um, if it hits a 2-5, if it hits a 2-7, no, because the side thing doesn't kill the 5-3. Uh, yeah. yeah. I wonder. It's ugly. I would Multi-Shot here first. Is that the worst? Yeah. For this boss too. Yeah. Can explosive shot to make this guy super big. He has 13, 15, 17 damage on board. Yeah. Well played. Well. I, think, played. I mean, we explosive shot, right? Yeah. <laughs> or do we deadly here instead? Explosive shot gets us some health. It also loses us. It loses us three. Or it gains us two. Mm-hmm. Value two health. That's fine. It was ugly. Our hand was terrible. That shield and minibot really did us in. Yup. <sighs> We're alive. Nah, we can Defender of Argus. We can Emperor Cobra. We can I'll taunt up a bunch of stuff. I'll show them all! Yeah. We're sadly playing Attrition now. For duty. We want a two or three trap. I want our multi shot, our second multi shot. Command, that's, that's good. Nice. That kills the 8 2. He doesn't have lethal on the board after that. Yeah. He's probably still put up uh, Emperor Cobra Houndmaster. Yeah. Thank you, Command. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
So Cobra, Hellmaster the Cobra, Kill Command A2. Yes. I don't think this game is completely lost. Job's done. He only has one card. Paladins don't really have too much reach. At most, each card can be worth worth four. Four, one, five. And if seven. he doesn't kill we the Houndmaster, we can taunt up two more big things. Yeah. He needs five damage from five damage from his hand. That's pretty much it. Let me think. That's very awkward. Mm-hmm. I mean, he doesn't have lethal. It's whether we can get back on the board the next turn. I think we can. Yeah. This will be kind of amazing if we pull it out. Yeah, I know. I think we have a pretty <laughs> decent chance. I think we're at least at mm. like a 28, somewhere between 28 and 34% to uh, win this thing. I think we're close to 50 50. <laughs> You think we're close to 50 50? I think we're close to 50 50. This Paladin's pause is making me uh, think you might be right. No secret, no secret. Oh, that just made our chances even better. Uh, oh man, if only we had another explosive trap. <laughs> That's when you know you lost. Four, five, six. Four, five, six. He used the one. He used the uh, three, three that grows to remove uh, three damage from the from the Emperor Cobra. Instead of using something like a True Silver plus the one, one. I think if he had Blessing Kings or True Silver, he, he doesn't. Use it as he part. doesn't have any of that. He just has like some random minion in his hand. Right. Yeah. Four, five, six. He has four, five, six. Do you think we rag it? That way, next turn we could play Long Tall Strider and Defender of Argus onto the rag. Mm -hmm. We need a big oh. taunt. Playing Defender of Argus onto the Tall Strider, it has it gives us five health, and you can remove it this turn. And we're the right. same problem next turn. We have to take this gamble now. Well, well it doesn't have big then the Defender of Argus can remove one thing. Deadly, sh uh, yeah, we have Deadly Shot gamble or a rag gamble. Yeah. Well, no. If we Defender of Argus, uh, the Tall Strider, he gets rid of everything, and then he has a 1-1 one, one out. He has two 1-1s. One, I think it could work. Your call. I would go with the ride. I don't I don't think he has damage in his hand. I think, in the end, if he does, he'll end up winning anyways. Because what is he going to have? He's going to have something very abstract, like a Google or like an Elden Archer. I don't think so. Yeah, because those Tall Strider is at 5 health if you put it out and you Defender of Argus it. He has to trade 3 things into it, and then so he creates another 1-1, one, one. he has 2 one ones on the board. And then you have 1 minion, a 2-3 on the board to remove one of the 1-1s. One oh. You're gonna have to... I mean, it was just a yeah. shade of Max that was just, just like, played very weirdly. Yeah. Just didn't think he had it. Uh, so we dropped the Abusive as well, just for the tempo. Because we're Tall Strider and then Defender of Argus and the two biggest things. Yep. And then we do we just drop the one. abusive for the heck of it? Or do we tap? So how well does it do? I mean, I guess if we... Oh. Would it be better used on the Defender of Argus next turn? Yeah, I think Why it might not? be. He's going to have the Sunwalker up here, unless yeah. the Rag hits the Sunwalker. Right? Right, yeah. Well, the abuse of Sergeant on the Defender of Argus doesn't do anything. It's only four damage. Yeah, it doesn't. It's going to be blocked off by a four five because he's yeah. going to run the Sunwalker into this tall, long, tall, lost tall strike. Yeah, we just him down. For you want to play it? Wait, um, it doesn't make a difference. Let's just count down. What if he? What if we draw to uh, blue fill or something? We're not charging four damage. Yeah, we have an Argent Commander too, right? Or. That Please shield. So four five plus one one into six five. Mm -hmm. Won't even get past that sunwalker. Deadly shot. That's what it's made for. <laughs> <laughs> Should have taken kill command out. At least with Kill Command, we can remove it with the Defender of Argus. So, 
ugly. What if Rag hit him twice in the face? Oh man. Oh my god. The plays. I'm also really, really cool with this because the abusive sergeant is now amazing. Yeah, this is really good. Oh man, I think we're gonna end up winning. Yeah. Wait, eight, ten, twelve. We have lethal if the deadly shot hits at 30 30. I know. I think we go for the lethal now. Right? Yeah. We're in hammer of wrath range. Yeah, I'm with you. Deadly shot? Yep. Yep. Do it. Win us the game. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Into the breach. And I would attack face. Yeah, only Wolf Fighter into like Blessing of Kings wins the game for him. I don't think it matters. I think our chances are pretty equal whether we trade or attack face at this point. Because no matter what, we kill him next turn, right? Yep. Well, it depends on what he removes. <laughs> yeah, it depends on what he, what he actually draws. If it's like removal for what's on the what's board. Wow. Oh, baby. In this nice. case. Nice. Oh, nice. Well, oh, <laughs> oh, <God>. oh, <laughs> oh, trap. That's wow. Part of it. Oh, my wow. God. What yeah. just happened? I would feel so bad if I were him. Well, we had a read. We had a read that he didn't have True Silver or Blessing King, so we played the rag on empty board. Oh, he yeah. He wouldn't have traded his Shade of Nax there. And that that's worked when we out turned very the game well. Around. Yeah. Good game. That was Ooh. exciting. All right. That's uh, that's definitely a, a one way to win as the hunter. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we I don't think we played that optimally. Explosive trap just. I, I don't know how to optimally play explosive trap besides on turn two when he has a three two on the board. <laughs> Even then, it's like please, please just attack into it. Don't, don't exactly. Do it. Just yeah. let it be a demon fire. <laughs> <laughs> sad life, for, sad life for a close trap. There's just, uh, I mean, I don't mind free ones if I get it from like a mad scientist, but I don't, oh, don't yeah. want that one like that in the first place. Let the hunt begin. Yeah. Oh, we probably uh, kept that going. Yep. Yeah, I think ooze is good. Oh yeah. Yeah. Give us, uh, Reach Ground says, one of the games. strangest matches I've seen, yes. That Explosive Trap Gambit was such... Like, when we put it down, we were committed to it. But it yeah. should not have worked. He screwed up by tapping so much. Mm -hmm. Yes. If he had a choice to put bigger stuff, he should have. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know what he gained by tapping. Yeah. It's Where's like he man? figured out that he couldn't just run everything in and that wasn't good. But he didn't figure out that he can't so just keep tapping. The whole game. Yeah, no, yeah. it's true. We didn't even have the Unleash. Uh, I mean, we don't do anything. Yeah. We just pass here. And then we start coining saying, out the Huffer yeah. and attacking him to the face! Yep. Mm -hmm. We want to see Tap here. I always want to see Tap. Help us kill you. Yeah. Oh, we don't have a choice. I have to coin out the Animal Companion. Yeah. I'll take uh, Misha. <laughs> yes, I would, you will always think of Misha. <laughs> only we had a Hellmaster. Hellmaster yeah. is the only reason why Leoc is uh, can be good. Don't mess with Tusk. <sighs> yeah. The other animal yeah. companion. Yeah. Although I feel like Explosive Trap might work here if he does two. 2 3 plus 2 3 and X face yeah. the 1 1. <laughs> but no. To my side. All oh the good cards. God. Yeah, we definitely hit him in the face here with the 5 2. Do you want to hit the 1 1 here with the 2 4 in case he has Mortal Coil or like a Dark Iron Dwarf? I um, think I would. I, I like that a lot. Giving him that easy Mortal Coil. Like, that's such a value coil. Yeah, and plus he can't even remove the board here now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, he couldn't before either, but yeah, it makes it a lot more awkward. It gives us a chance to draw into that um, into that Houndmaster. Yeah, it does. Next turn, we can Frostwolf Grunt and Echoing Ooze. 
If Howlmaster hits anything, it's pretty good. Yeah, I it's mean, it's amazing. Amazing. Oh. Yeah, well, you know, they could have Huffer killed. I guess it's still Huffer killed. Pretty close to trapping. Oh, Howlmaster! Oh, come on. Uh, I think we explosive trap and tap. Uh, he's not gonna. It's the same thing as long, long lost yeah. tall strider here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, get to edge out of hero power. I think it's pretty obvious what we're doing, but he should just run it in. Yeah, I think a lot of people do just run it in. I think at this point you're not losing that much value. You'd rather have your five uh, mana. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I just played like a Spiteful Smith <laughs> Can we kill that uh, right he, now? He, he just lost Wait, value. wait, he lost two attack. Yeah, he did. Huh? He lost he two attack on the thing. He should have dropped it first. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Unless he was like super afraid that it was a snipe and we just like totally mind gamed him. It could have been a, a snipe. Six, six. Huh? Could have been a snipe. Mm -hmm. That's a 6-6. Six, six. Yeah. That's a 6-6 six, yeah. six next turn. But, you know, Frostwolf Grunt will punt some damage, but we don't have anything besides Echoing Ooze, which is not going to do anything for us. How do we not have any active cards here? I think we uh, just Echoing Ooze Frostwolf Grunt here. Um, it helps right. us draw two things, like Dark Iron Dwarf or the Abusive, or even like Bluegill. It also helps us edge out damage if we have drawn to the Explosive Shot or the Multi Shot to make it a little bit more... Sure. You know, there's no better yeah. options. Yeah, no. this is an ugly hand. We have nothing with initiative. Yeah, I mean it's a it's a mid range hunter deck. It's kind of how they go, and it's a mid range hunter deck with low value cards. So it's kind of where we're at here. Oh my God! What is he doing? <laughs> what is even happening what here? What is this? Well, we can web spinner and houndmaster it. I think that's fine. Gets us the most stat points on the board, and that's what we really need. Yeah. Do we run the one two preemptively into the four three? Because then, even if he taps, the houndmaster will still trade with it. Mm -hmm. You think he's gonna remove it somehow? Like, okay, after we do this, because we're doing this, right? No, I see it. Yeah. Yeah. If we run the one two into the four three, why wouldn't he just tap and run the four three into the? Oh yeah, no, you're right. Just, you're right. You it's know? all the same. Let's get a damage yeah. in the face. Yep. If we ever draw into multi shot or explosive shot, we should be able to get some good trades in. Mm. That's annoying. He knows how to trigger that thing, right? Waiting on it. I would wait on it like this in development board. Especially against the hunters. Oh, oh the there we go. There we go. Oh. Uh -huh. Really? I mean, we gotta remove nine, it. 9, 11, 13, 17 damage. He needs 5 to lethal. That's after he taps and gets the plus 2 from tap. So he needs like a power bombing plus. Like a dark bomb or something. I wonder. You want to be super cute? Take the Houndmaster into the Harvest Golem. <laughs> Remove it. Dark Scale Healer, which heals us too as well in the play Captain's Parrot or Tap. Ah, uh, that's that seems way too cute. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Like, I mean, the heal doesn't do anything. Everything trades with the Houndmaster regardless of whether true. it's like a four one or a four three. That's true. The All right, rats. The floating watcher. Here? Uh, he's at 12. Hero power is at 10. There's not. We don't even have a good draws to lethal. It's a problem. Have enough direct damage. Yeah, we don't. Gosh, I think we have to do like the most conservative play here and just do four, three plus one, two into six, five. Yep. And then just uh, develop our own threats, which are quite bold and conservative. Let's take this pretty well here. We just have to slowly edge out some uh, hero powers and take him down. I mean, it's rough. Just waiting for him to kill us. Because if he's trading, I feel comfortable. Because we have a hero power. Yeah. Okay, we're good. Alright, so we have a read that he doesn't have power warming. Because he would not have done that, right? 
I don't know. Oh, Has he been playing rationally at all this game? <laughs> I mean, he just did trade and then tap. So who knows? Oh, the anti spells. And then we draw into our spell. Okay. Makes sense. Well, we can anti. Oh, the other one still gets. Yeah. Uh, double, double force. Yeah. Yeah. And stuff on the board. Yep. Explosive will always mop up stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Just kill here. Just keep on tapping, man. Keep on. Keep on drawing your cards. <clears throat> so many possibilities. Hmm. Just think of the Captain's Para as an activator for kill command. Yeah. I mean, that's all it is. Mm -hmm. We don't have pirates. Do we have a salty dog? We don't have a salty dog. <laughs> salty dog's so good at Hunter. That <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, that was ugly. <laughs> Aww. It's fine. What is this guy? Who's at 13? <laughs> Oh, oh, we know it's now. fine for us. <laughs> we were scared for him. If I get a Captain's Parrot value here. Captain's Parrot is a 1-2? No, no, it's a 1-1. One, one. One. It's still the most value it's going to get. <laughs> yeah. Dark Five, scale, two, Captain's tap, Parrot, tap. Yep. Just gotta slowly put it in now. We don't have a pirate. I was hoping we just forgot we had like one of the new pirates that we just didn't think was a pirate. I, this guy, man. Aren't we a 3 0 or something like that? Stuff happens. We're a 3 0. He's still trying to. Okay. Never seen this guy before. Oh, that explosive shot value. Wow. Oh, wow. my god. Gabble? Ooh. <laughs> the explosive shot's I mean, yeah, always going to be I mean, there. What is he going to do? Trade it all in? And then yeah. he dies in six turns? I, I don't think we need to gamble, but it's fun. Do we gamble? Mm -hmm. Probably more ah. sane. Probably it, is, it, play is explosive shot and then Ember Cobra. Just play yeah. Three three. Yeah. Oh my God. Well played. Just the hunter's hero power is so good. Well it's true. Played. Especially against against like Rogue and Warlock. Yeah. What do you guys think about Assassin's Creed? Mm. Mm -hmm. well, after this. Okay, now he goes for... <laughs> what? So now we rag, tap... Wait, we just we go face. The, the Emperor Cobra with the 5-4. Really? I would just go face. Wait, what? I mean, if we hit face, then he can't tap for an answer, yeah. right? And that's, so he has no possible, possible way time. of dealing yeah. 9 damage from his hand. I mean, that's fine. I think, I think both are like guaranteed wins, but I, I know. guess Slightly 100% more. But he has yeah. to draw a heal, heal up with that heal, and then do stuff. There's always a chance of that happening. Yeah. yeah. I agree with your play. It's better. No, that that is good. Deny him that draw. <laughs> Until he gets the second soul with that first draw. For it. Ah, this guy, man. 3 0. I feel kind of bad, though. Because that means it was probably one of his best runs, like, best starts to a run. <laughs> And we just ended it <laughs> mercilessly. And, and you know, with a rag of all things. Well, it's well, it's so bad. I didn't see anything so bad from him. <laughs> Are you serious? No, oh, I, I really didn't. Uh, where where do we want to start? <laughs> First, he needed to just stop tapping. Uh, did he actually not have stuff to play? I, I don't. Uh, I don't know. He played uh, the the thing, the spare part, to trigger our guy before trading his guy into it. 
he alternated between attacking face and clearing the board at pretty much the exact wrong times. Like, if he did it randomly, I think it would have been at least as successful. It's just a lot of... I pretty much spaced out on everything you just said. <laughs> it's getting a little bit late up. Um, it definitely is. Dude, it's 3 a.m. here. Aren't you in, like, Arizona? Yeah, it's 1 a.m. here. I would just t t toss the uh, ooze. Oh, sorry, sorry. Toss everything but the ooze. Uh, wow, I was like, no, not, not toss the ooze. Okay. We've been starting with the ooze quite a lot. Yeah. It, we've like been it. winning. I don't know why. <laughs> Yep. Is Ooze better than I think? Because I think it sucks. Job's done. It's much better than 2 mana 2 3. Really? Yeah. Why, why do you think it's worse? Why do you think it's worse than a 2 mana 2 3? Because people can clear it, like, especially on a, a class with no uh, with no ping. Uh, so which one do we play first? Um, probably want to play the uh, Echoing Ooze right now. It's fine. Yep. <laughs> They both, honestly, it does the same exact thing. It has two damage on the board, and they die to other two drops. Right? You think it's worse because of, uh, it's worse against two mana two threes? Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, that's one of the reasons, but another reason is that if your opponent has a board at all, the one damage doesn't do anything. Whereas the two damage really still does. sort I mean... of. It activates things, like, even in this deck, it activates, like, Defender of Argus, Abusive, and Dark Fire. Alright, well, That's this fair. turn, we can play everything that we have. Yes, and we hit face. Yep. Drag no stupid. I can kill a 1-2 here. That would make sense on his part. I just think having more guys on the board gives you a lot more flexibility in how you do your trades as well. And generally, the only part that really matters with these low attack, low HP minions is the attack value on them. And it has the I same attack like, value as the 2-3, but like it gives the you that ooze flexibility more now. attacking two different things. Yeah, I do like the Ooze more now, and the Razor Fan Hunter for that matter, just because it's two things. And yeah. before, taunting damage didn't mean shit. Now it kind of does. Hmm. Multi-shot's not awful here. It's not. probably get more value without do using it, but... I, I don't think we multi-shot here, though. No. We, we get a free kill on the 2-2. We gotta take yeah. it. We can develop a 4. Well, Probably, uh, uh, okay. Um, then you would do that first to see what we draw. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, and sorry, I just saw you pick up the Burly Rock Jaw. Trog. Want to make sure of that. Yes. Burly? Well... Here's the thing, I mean, he kills the 2-1 likely here, right? He kills mm -hmm. that. He Shadow Word Pains, and all of a sudden we're, we have a 1-2 up against a 4-4. If we play the, uh, the long tall strider, he can't, he can't heal with the Shadow Word Death. I think we just allow this to trade and just keep the board that we do have. I like that, actually. Yeah. Because the tall strider is actually threatening. Yeah, and we don't mind this the trading with each other. Okay. I wonder if he goes for value here. Ooh. Explosive shot. Oh, deadly. That's not that good. No. Mm. I mean, Burly Rockjaw does work here now, right? Maybe we can even get a plus one attack from the uh, the mechanical yeti. We definitely have to trade against the priest because of power shield stuff. Mm -hmm. Nope. Armor plating. So we just barely rock jaw, right? I would also give it the health. But I think that's fine. Not I think necessarily, it's quite sure. Yeah, it's maybe fine. not necessary. But, but then again, next turn our mana might be tied up if we use Boulder Fist, so yeah. we won't have time to give it health if we want to. So yeah, yeah. I think that's good. Likely it'll just get Shadow of Pain. But. We're about to lose the board for good. <laughs> if he plays yeah. any kind of multiple... Actually, no, we have a multi-shot and a deadly shot. I think we're okay. Because we can kind of clear whatever he puts out there. 
If we lose the board to a priest, we lost forever. Yeah. Especially with this deck with such weird kind of removal tools. Yeah. It's gonna be ugly. Hey, don't we have that one card that's really good here? I guess we didn't draw it. Hmm. I can trade multi shot, and put a hyena. It's not a very good use of it. I wonder. I mean, there is a Boulder Fist Ogre Gambit here. Yeah. But then he Shadow Word Deaths, and, you know. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much an all in. I I mean, with multi-shot, he put scavenging, I know. It's yeah, multi-shot The 2-2 two, two dies to whatever he plays next turn. Yeah. I think we have to take the Gambit. Yeah, I'm with you. Yeah. And then we trade the 4-1-2 uh, into the 4-1. And then... Do we trade oh, the 3-2 tra into the 2-1? I was thinking that. Yeah, I think we have to. Yeah. Because otherwise he's just going to eat it. But you know what? If he eats it, that's fine, too. Quickly. Then again, the three damage on his face isn't that important. Yeah. yeah. Like, he has five, right? Priest can deal two pretty easily with Holy Smite. Even Holy Nova if he feels that pressure. I think I would trade it here. Don't want to be in two, two damage range of uh, getting knocked out. Yeah. Piece. Clearing out more things is always good. Whoa. That's a good sign. Or a bad sign. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to say. Oh, that's I don't mind that. We just lose out on one turn. It's fine. He has he has anti deadly shot. <laughs> anti deadly shot stuff for Actually, out. true. He does have anti deadly shot. Oh man, if we could only have healed. <laughs> we have the deadly shot. Here. We do. We have no other plays. <laughs> yeah, we do. Okay. Let's do it. So if we deadly shot, we give the trog. We turn it into a five five. Oh, fuck. oh we can't yeah. deadly yeah. shot. Oh god. Yeah, we can't. Okay, then we just we have to dark steel. Dark steel plus wolf, uh, frost wolf grunt. We yeah, just throw frost him the wolf frost wolf grunt. He he'll yes. he it makes it a lot harder for him to take out our bullet fist over. And it seems like he can't clear here, right? It, it, no, it certainly seems so. No, I I, I like the grunt play a lot. Oof. Um, this is like the most value we're getting out of the grunt, anyways, yeah. at this point of the game. Like just, Honestly, it's just bait for as you know. For now, it's just bait. What else are we gonna use it for in this game? Oh, that's good. Oh, he's gonna heal it. That's awesome. Yay! Oh, four five four five. Hmm. Mm. It's fine. If only we had that plus one HP thing. <laughs> Wait, he didn't want to heal the trog up. Oh man. And we're fine here. Yeah. We, we stabilized the board. So we trade the Fen Creeper and the, the Bullet Fist Ogre, and we take out the 3 3 for free, right? Yeah. And the 4. Now he can't do anything. Well, I guess he could do things, but it's not too worrisome. No. Do we burn a multi shot? On what? Just in general? Because we have to use our mana, and then what are we trying if... to hit? you're trying to hit the zombie child to save the uh, dark scale. It does save the dark scale from it the does. zombie child. Yeah. Well, but we, we can, can use it after. We... Let's. Because I, th I think we actually save the boulder fist. Is what I'm saying. If we multi shot, and then we don't have to use the boulder fist to trade. No, no. Oh, okay. Well, That's if like you're best, best case scenario, right? No, 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 no. If you're multi shotting before the trog becomes a five three. Oh, yeah. yeah so that doesn't matter. No, 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 no. You can't. You can't. That's fair. We can guarantee a kill here. Yep. Tap. Or multi shot. Directly uh, protects. Out, out of your power here. Get a better, better multi shot than this. I don't think we'll it. ever get a better multi shot because there's an ancient watcher. It's okay. We'll, we'll take care of him later. Watch him activate it here. No, he's probably not going to activate it, but it's still not Honestly, never going we have, away. We have a rag. <laughs> we just need to draw to rag. That's our late game. Oh. There's that guy. <laughs> there's that guy. Let's play him.
He doesn't have well, he doesn't have mind control yet. This is the turn to play him. Yep. We're gonna play him. Now, do we trade into the five five? Is that thinking it really big? Yeah, if he has a temple enforcer, it turns into eight eight. Yeah. Kills our rag. And we have we multi shot, play. deadly shot. We have stuff. Let's try to keep the rag yeah. alive. I think a multi shot the last turn was a better move though. Because it keeps Maybe. our 4-2 alive. And this yeah. Ancient Watcher is going to be here forever. Uh, regardless. Mm, yeah. Probably going to be here forever. He's going to be gone next turn. Watch. He's not going to be be here forever. Yeah, I mean, we definitely have to trade. We can't get a rag destroyed here. This is not a fast game. We don't need the late game. Yeah. Alright. Let's see that Shadow Word Death. I feel like Rag is carrying us pretty hard. I don't feel like we're winning him off skill. Alright. Okay, so now we can hope with the multi shot. Right? If you're not playing this now, when are you playing the multi shot? Yep. It's gonna take one thing out, definitely. Oh, we'll hit both those guys. Oh, you missed, I'm doing death. Sorry, sorry guys. <laughs> you want to play the uh, yeah? Play out. Well, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh -huh. Wait, why? Do we not want to play the hyena? We have. I mean, what else are we gonna use the hyena for? Yeah, I'm seriously. Not... Hmm. I don't it, care. It allows for us to guarantee that Rag will hit the next target if we can run into either the three two or the four two next. next yeah. Turn. So I would play the hyena okay. and the injured blade master. Yeah, I think that's fine. And okay. if he has my control yeah. here, please. Murder! You don't no, you lose, but... Hmm. Ah, two to the face. That's pretty good. Is someone injured? Oh, he doesn't have mind control. I think we win. Yep. That's... <laughs> Why? Merch is a dick. Oh, okay, no, right. Oh, he healed it! Merch is the designated, no, we can't do that because Trog guy. <laughs> <laughs> you think we get each other? I think we do. Yeah. I mean, you're never gonna get more value out of it. I, I guess we could yeah. wait until Rag actually <laughs> kills one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Of them. Uh, well, wait. if he kills one of them, he doesn't have a card draw mechanic. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're right. So do you actually? Yeah, oh, yeah we wait. don't deadly shot. Wait, wait. So don't drop the web spinner yet. Do we actually drop it? I don't care about the web spinner. What does the web spinner do? No, oh, no, it no. gives him the ability yes, to ice. Yes, the ability to heal. So do we deadly shot? Here? He, next turn, if Rag hits his face, right? Mm -hmm. If if Rag hits either one of these minions, mm -hmm. he does not have a card draw mechanic left, right? Well, but he does if we put down the web spinner. Okay, true. But I'm saying but, but I want he'll be down to nine. Down. If Rag hits his face, he'll be at one. He needs to heal his face, well, or else he dies to our hero power. So it doesn't well, matter. Okay. That's true. That is true. Do we web spinner and deadly shot? I want a web spinner and deadly shot. I want yeah. more chances. I think it's either you play it all out or you don't play it. I, you don't play it. I don't. Okay. That worked. Oh come on. That's fine. I like this uh, slow, slow win. <laughs> Shadow, watch him get like, uh, what would he need here? Uh, no, he's six mana, too little. <laughs> it's not enough to play anything that matters. He's got a high main and two guys who just keep, keep getting shot. What is he holding? Do you even play an abusive sergeant? <laughs> uh, uh, I, I wouldn't he play it. Move his one one maybe. So we hit him. He's at he's at nine. I think we do play. I think we do. What's the one one gonna do though? It's gonna soak up eight damage. But it's gonna soak up eight damage anyway. It's gonna soak up eight damage, and not this turn, but at the end of next turn, perhaps. Do so you think we play it? I'll play it if you want to play it. I'll play it. Okay. Do we just save save it for a charge? Yeah, we have a bunch of charge minions we never drew. That makes too much sense. I mean, the charge, we only, charge is not going to do 9 damage. If we have a charge, that's we're going to get him under the rag yeah, limit. That's He's true. always at 9 damage. Yeah, no, okay. you're right. The, the saving for the charge would just be to deal with removal if he put down a minion. Well, that was okay as well. Now right, we get I mean, 2 damage have, the next turn. Yeah, now we have lethal. That's right. That's good. 
this, I feel bad for this guy. Rag is oh, just... Oh, holy Nova! He got so much value out of that. Ugh. Tap, play the Cobra. Oh my god. Probably the 5 5. Ah. Alright, so we have no, lethal. We have lethal so. regardless, unless he, like, right. taunts up or something. <laughs> How That's not it. it. <laughs> No, he realizes he has to kill the Cobra, right? He doesn't realize that we have lethal. If he killed the Cobra, we may not have had lethal. Yep. I don't think I don't think he cares. I think he's very willing to bet on the fact that we misplay. <laughs> Sometimes that's the right play when you're just getting sick of the game. It's fair. Oh hey. Oh man, I had a quest for that paladin. You ever toss? You should toss your quest, the forty ones. Yeah, I mean, I did. Uh, these were just leftover ones. Uh, we are not playing any of these. Priest or warlock. Sixty boulder. Yeah. All right. This deck is doing incredibly well for its low value, and for how we've been facing some really bad opponents. I think. But yeah, our deck is also a low value. Well, so honestly, well, fast plays have been pretty good. I don't. Yeah. I I'm really surprised because all right, uh, I'll say this: Rag has saved us like how many times? Um, I think this is the second game that Rag won by itself. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Like if we had basically any other card than Rag, I think we would have lost. Mm. Um, yes. So it's definitely doing work and. I mean, that was not our intention when we drafted Rag. I think it was just kind of like, oh, you know, this is really nice, but we don't anticipating it to g gain us like seven card advantage and win us the game. <laughs> 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 All right. No, I wouldn't keep the Ember over here. You wouldn't? Okay. Against this fire war axe. We can't clean it up. That's out. true. Yeah. All right. Yep. Do we keep a deadly shot? No. We want. I. You always want to dig for minions. We have enough minions in our deck to uh, do this. That's yeah, true. if we can curve out, that's just. Um, it's so tough for them to respond. Yeah. Like when I lose with uh, to hunter, it's just like they they drop something every single turn and it's over. This deck is not actually that good at that. <laughs> it should be, but it is unfortunately just average at it. Here's like. Okay. Companion on the hopes that uh, likelihood actually that we get a three or yes. two the next turn. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. And also because of the fact that if we don't, we lose. It's true. We likely lose. Do we? I would not uh, mind hitting face. Yeah. No, what? How do you feel? I okay. Don't know what Leoc is doing for us. Leoc. Why not get the free kill with Leoc here? I mean, oh, you want to just not do anything? Sun. If he shattered suns here, we're pretty ass. I think we trade. I think we have to trade. It's week two week against Cleave as well. We well might Leoc's gonna to die to any three drop. Huh? Leoc's gonna die to any three drop. Oh, I guess we have Dark Iron, so he won't die to a three drop. He'll just trade with it. Oh no, we don't. We just coined. We don't even know where yeah. we're gonna play the next turn. I think we. It's either we trade or we. Or just we do it. nothing. Yeah. I'm in favor of do nothing, but I'll trade. I think it's like a toss-up. Rats up is. to you. It's just that Shattered Sun is so ugly in this spot. I'll trade. I'll trade. Okay. It also plays around the cleave. Mm -hmm. But a cleave is like a very secondary consideration. I'm just yeah. like, now we don't have- oh, thank god. Oh, so nice. Come on, let's draw into something. Anything. Sorry, I, I didn't mean it. <laughs> <laughs> I know I said anything. <laughs> It's a, cat. it's a dude order that gets us uh, hero power. And now yeah. we have a four attack uh, loot order here, web spinner, coming out. Yep. He needs to play Lost Tall Strider. A piece of crap four drop here. Yeah, that's actually uh, a good four drop. Well, if we defender of Argus, Leog doesn't die. Yep. <laughs> and that's definitely the play. So we do we, we want to run the uh, two one web center in first, right? Yeah. No matter what. That's fair. Well, 
think we draw here. Oh, I know we could have drawn Hellmaster. No, that's not a beast, so we can't come up on that. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we we yeah. lose under here. So the three, one, and the two, three, and stuff like that. Do we make the trade? How aggressive yeah. are we being? Yeah, we definitely uh, make the trade. We definitely make the trade. He he's going into Reaper um, next turn. Oh, uh, that's fair. Yes, that's true. I yeah. mean, not only that, you never. I don't. I never want to let people activate their own Dark Irons. It's just yeah, not worth yeah. the extra damage on face, even in in Hunter. Yeah. And just because we're Hunter, and if right. you if you manage to put a lot of uh, damage on him, you can't use his weapons after a while, or like really anti tempo himself. But yeah. no, you're right. Okay, we're going in. Yeah, uh, that was fine. Drop three two things. Yeah, yeah, three two. Yep. But yeah, I mean, I just saw it as like, if he reapers, that that's so, so good for him. He your, develops your microphone a is uh, is doing the thing again. Oh. <laughs> you hear it, right, rats? His microphone just turns up. Yeah, it's weird. Back to work. Uh, all right, that's fine. That's fine pop too. They're probably not gonna pop it. There are so many things we can do here. Wait, I'm sorry, I missed out. Oh, uh, what weapon does he have equipped? Just the wrath. Oh, okay, wrathy. Never mind. We well, dark, dark iron. iron. His board. Yeah. Um, that means that whatever he plays, we have two one ones on the board and a beast of Sarge that we can play. Yeah. With the explosive shot. It gives us a ton of reach. I think we just dark iron. I want to dark iron and then freeze the two two. Isn't that a cloak field? It is. <laughs> <laughs> so we're not gonna do my plan with the cards that we don't have. Fair. We're losing the beast for the kill command, but I think it's fine. Yeah. The abusive gets really strong with the uh, ogre. Oh yeah. Do you think we actually can control? I mean, I was—I didn't mind having the four-four run and trade with the two-two, uh, but I don't think this would be bad either. Yeah, we're not. No, no, no. Because then he'll just kill the one ones. Oh, that's true. Okay. Yep. Hundred percent true. The one ones are valuable. I thought you're not trading. You generally you want to hit face in spots where it's not dangerous to hit face. Mm. Um, oh god! You, you have to play around things. It doesn't mean you just yolo face, right? We're not we're not doing this. Guy, he's what? Just, he's not even removing a one one with his face. Hit our what? Hit our face, huh? Explosive trap is really good. <laughs> On the assumption that he's stupid. You think we run the two one ones into the four two? Play ogre, finicky cloak field, that, and then that's really good. we can explosive trap next. Yeah. Explosive shot next turn to finish yeah. off the two two. I that's like good. It. I can't believe he didn't use his face. Right to prevent us from. Did he forget he had a order. weapon? He needs to play a silverhead knight here. He would be. Yes, please do that. He needs Man. to play a Silverhand Knight in the wrong order. <laughs> That's oh, just as good. Oh my <laughs> god! Oh my god. It was stealth too. He could have prevented... Well, he couldn't have prevented the whole thing. But he could have at least prevented the 2-2 oh, from dying. Oh god, this is, this is so... I feel dirty. You guys feel dirty. I feel very dirty. dirty. I feel very dirty. Uh, so we explosive abusive hero power, right? Do we abusive even into his uh, yeah. battle axe? Hundred percent. Yeah. Now we're just pushing for damage. Yeah. Oh, it yeah. makes this so, okay. How does he take care of the ogre? He needs to hit into it and execute it, right? That's his best play. It's very obvious. He already played two two abusive sergeants. That's fair. He's not gonna have enough time to remove it. That's fair. It's not like we need cards. Yeah. You're so good. Oh my god. That was so much better than Silverhand Knight. Oh man, that was ridiculous. 
How can he do that? My god. Huh? Look at that. Look at that sad two for one. Mm. I, I don't know. I I don't think Warrior is good enough. I really don't. Warrior is played. definitely fallen. We just played our two cards. Mm, or yeah. oh, we lost Rider and Kill Command. Hmm? Oh, that's, that works too. Or we played our two yes, cards. That's much better. No, I like it. Okay. Start this tap engine. Wow. That was amazing. <laughs> he just said, <laughs> I want to lose. <laughs> it's like, if you guys have that card, I want to lose. I could save some stuff on my board, but I'm just going to lose. <sighs> Drop our stuff. This explosive oh. trap, so good. Yeah. No, it's, it is good. Because if we ever get him down to two, he'll feel safe. Because he can just armor up every time we hero power. And then we have the explosive trap to finish him off. That's, that's perfect. Oh, yeah, we pull. Nah, that's game. Play a spell. Just play a spell. Do it. Ah. Uh. I can't believe. I bet some people are playing drunk. That was perfect. Or like super tired. Like I can see myself man. doing that if I'm super tired and I'm like I don't even know that I'm facing a hunter. I do hear this a lot though on my stream as well. When I when I just like get a lot of wins with hunter, people think it's that my opponents are, you know, terrible, but Yeah. Merp said this earlier. They're just so pressured. That it's yeah. It's the tempo plays. They can't keep up with it. And their cards are always more focused, more on like the mid game or the, you know, the control matchup. Mm -hmm. That they just they just can't deal with it. Right. I mean, we had that one game where we curved out perfectly. We had the answers, and we forced them to have one card. Yeah. And that's the way this deck, like, well, I'm sorry, that's the way we want this deck to work. Most of the time, it hasn't. Oh, we've had to rely on rag. Um, but yeah. oh, there it is. <laughs> Every time you say rag, he shows up. Um, <sighs> web spinner. <sighs> no, we need to toss one. We need to toss yeah. one. We need to give ourselves a chance of drawing into a two and a three. Yep. That makes sense. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I won't say that. Like that. Oh yeah. No. 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 Now it's done. So we web spinner and Morgan. Or do you want a double web spinner? Mm -hmm. I mean, our follow up play is gonna be the other two one drops, right? Because yep. on turn three we have the Cobra. Yep. I think we double web spinner because on turn two he can't put out anything. Yeah, he can't put out anything. It's more than that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this ends. Well, hold on. This ends. This incentivizes him to your power, right? Yeah. If we play two web spinners, what do you want to do? Maybe we. Well played. Morgan. Morgan right. Oh, it does, okay. It does I get it. We don't want him to your power. We want to get value off our beast target and then just reveal everything. And we have four guys with one health, or three guys with one health. Okay, he's still gonna do it. That's fine. We play out here. Yeah. It's the rogue because he gets to kill two things. Ooh, oh, never mind. Or no. No. Yeah. This changes things. Yep. Yeah, we wrapped it, right? We don't even frost. Yep. 100%. And we don't uh, cloak. Because nope. he's going to kill it. Yeah. That blood time was amazing. Yeah. Maybe the, the best VC we could have on there. Definitely. Did he just f go to the f oh, because he can do that. Right. Wouldn't he want to hit that first with a 1-1 one, one and then do that? You know, so he can yeah. kill the raptor and still save okay. two 2 charges? Forget it. He wanted to get one damage in her face. 
Just let him be. Um, empty Cobra. I mean, okay. So if we have Cobra here. We're gonna we're pretty much devoting our Cobra into his four drop, which is a little bit slow. I think we can get our Abuse Sergeant active here, right? We can play Frostwolf oh, Grunt plus yep. the Web Spinner, and then all of a sudden we have two from the Abusive, yep. one from the Web Spinner, two from the North the uh, two one Worgen, and we can play our Emperor Cobra on turn four with the Abusive next turn. Yeah, I, I think it unstealth right. the Worgen too. Yeah, uh, it's betrayal stuff. Yeah. Do you, are you playing around the betrayal? Yeah. I'll hide one turn. Two damage on a rogue. Uh, it's only two. I mean, first you stabilize the board, and then once you stabilize, it's like going, you go to college, right? You don't make any money in college, but you study your ass off, and you get a good job, and that's when you start making money. We gotta start studying right now. <laughs> we're, we're going to school. This actually uh, works out really well. He's just giving yeah. this to us. Yep. Grab. Okay, yeah. so we uh, uh, oh, we could charge out the Emperor Cobra. Uh, so we abusive sergeants so remove. Yep. And then we play a. We could play a youthful brewmaster. I was looking at that too, which yeah. is interesting. Do we want to force him to hear power? Looking at his turn three play, he played Perdition's Blade, which is probably the right mm. play. In split then. Depends on. I mean, three. Any other three drop. Most three drops would have traded with the Worgen Infiltrator and the Blood Fen Raptor. Maybe he doesn't have a good three play. So if you force him to hero power on five, his turn might get very awkward. Right? Yeah, no, I'm, yeah. I'm with you there. Yeah. Yeah, if we you. Hmm. Yeah. It's just that if we you could move back to abusive, we're going to have three on the board from you mm -hmm. And then the abusive will give us what? Two more? It's five damage on a five drop. It's not going to work. Cobra? Yep. Yeah. Oh, like five damage yeah. will not work on a five drop. Yeah. I'm with you. And we can't uh, kill command trigger yet. Mm, okay. That's fine. It's not fine, but it happened. And we'll be fine with it. Yep. I think we have to kill command here. You guys think? Yeah. 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 I don't see any reason not to kill command the 3 4 and then tap. Yeah. This is where youthful sucks. Mm -hmm. It really does. And I. Yeah, it really is. And this, I mean, we had the same problem with Math Armors, right? You see this yeah. a lot. Yeah. I'm much yeah. less concerned about Math Armors, though, because they have more upside. Ooh. I'm very careful on how. There's this multi shot really thing. What class you're playing. Multi shot. What are we hoping he gets? There are some trash two drops that we can kill for free and not be in range of his hero power. Yep. Yep. And uh, worst comes to worst, too. we can brew it back. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Hopefully it's like a 2 3 then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because otherwise, this uh, Emperor Cobra is going to die to nothing. Yeah. Huh. Well, we'll kill that. <laughs> yeah. And actually, we almost have enough mana for uh. Okay, that's fine. We can tap. I was gonna say if we brew it back, we can brew it back next turn, and then yeah. on turn eight we can do Tundra Rhino charging, yep. late, charging us. Mm -hmm. No. No. <laughs> At least he hurt himself oh, a bunch. He's, the face. he's gonna get way too low. Yeah. We still have 30 health. He's just not going to be fast enough. Uh, I think it, it might it might be kind of close. Maybe. Not if we charge. Yeah, let's get Huffer. Huffer, brute back, hero power. Huffer, oh, next turn, hero man. power. The plays. Alright, that works too. Strider. Okay. Yeah. It, placement doesn't matter for betrayal. <laughs> <laughs> that doomsayer, though. <laughs> you no. gained him through health. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it did. Alright. Well. 
attack into that tundra rhino to finish it and we could brew yeah. back the tall strider why brew back i think we just hero power it's going to be a 5-1 as opposed to a 3-2 what is he's going to run the 3-2 into the 5-1 he's not taking any more face damage uh right but i mean we could uh okay fine that works and the cool thing about this is if we draw into any kind of beast, we can charge it out, move back, charge it out, stuff like that. Even charge back to Thunder right now, too. It's always stuff like, you know, Phantom Knives or whatever. But I guess we're not playing for card advantage. Yeah. Shattered Sun here. Oh, no. That's okay. So he's taking the five. All right. Yep. Boulder fist tap. Well, youthful boulder fist tap. We can't tap. We can't play all that. That's right. Boulder Just tap. boulder fist tap then. Yeah. Rogues are probably one of our favorite matchups. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, they can't hit into everything. Especially if he has like deadly poisons or assassin's blades in his hand. They're dead cards at this point. Uh, oh, almost. 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 We remove that. He has 11, 12, 13 damage. We're fine. Yeah, he needs 5 damage. Do we do the Brewmaster trick to get him down? We brew yeah. it back, we send it out again, and then we just win the next turn. Yep. So incredibly cute. The plays. The plays. <laughs> he thought it was BM. It's not. He actually said he was play. I think he's just realized, you know, he's gonna die the next turn. Yeah, this is pretty awesome. This is a pretty, this is a, a really, really <laughs> successful playstyle. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm a, normally a little too aggro with uh, with a hunter in the beginning. I just like to. I mean, the, the main key is just to make sure you have enough two and three drops, and then you establish yourself on the board and make sure you're not weak to AOE. And then you just continue to make good trades, and then you flip it, right? Yep. That I mean, I don't a... worry about, like, uh, the Worgen Impulse Trader 2 damage at the start. I'd rather right. make sure that's there to help us trade. Right, right. Oh, that's so late. Oh, my God. No. Haven't you been up to, like, 7 a.m. every night? <sighs> yeah, except today I actually try to wake up early to be like, hey, I'm going to go to bed on time today. And the answer's no. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. So this is one of the good parts about playing at 3.30 a.m. This is like my favorite meta in the arena. Uh, not tonight, but like something like a, um, a weeknight at like 2, 3 a.m. Eastern time. I think that's like the best time for me. I don't know why. All right, so what are we doing here? Um, I... I... Uh, <laughs> I kind of want it. I'm not looking forward to this. I, I want to keep it like this. Uh, I draw to another two or a one drop. We have a ton of those. Yeah. This is... Oh, God. I mean, you're this. never happy to see a grunt. <laughs> Most wanted attention. Flex or right. Yeah, I mean, and, we just... Uh, I think we keep, keep it. The grunt. It's one of our best two drops. Yeah, and we keep the injured, too. Yeah. Okay. It's much better yeah. than you can Yeah. Murps, is it true you sleep at the gym? Nah, bro. If you're at the gym, it's lifting all the time. What's the sleep thing you talk about? Mm. Actually, right. no, I'm sorry. I'm spreading lies. You need your rest for maximum gains. Should we coin out the Frostwolf Grunt and do a switcheroo if he drops something bad? 
He's so just gonna drop pulling a back. So here's the thing. I wanna I wanna apply pressure though. Okay. Then you throw Brewmaster first. Yeah, it's just ugly though. If I uh, yeah. No, it's not. It's not ugly. It's fine. Well, because Frostwell Grunt on the second one means it's going into his turn three, so he's going to play a three drop, and the Frostwell Grunt's just going to die to nothing. Yeah, but the thing is, we don't have to trade our Youthful Brew into his two drop that he plays. We can always just taunt it up since it's a taunt. It's like the Iron Oh, Purpose. that's totally true. Yeah. Only if it's a two three will we trade. Yeah, we'll yeah. We'll just hope that it's not. All we need is. Oh, well, but if we don't trade, we're. Putting more risk of the Argent Protector. Yeah, but, you know, in situations like this, yeah. it's either we trade or <laughs> we're gonna trade. And, I mean, this all goes with our plan of hitting face, anyways. It's fine. Yeah. I guess we don't, like, if he's gonna Argent Protect the 2 1, fine. Yeah, and three, I mean, nah. like you said, even if we do play around Argent Protector, it's more likely that he has a 3 drop that kills our 2 2 from the Yeah. No, it's true. It's Alright, let's hope he hits wrong. Yep. That's all we do. No. Hit this our face! Like Something like this really does decide the game, though. Yeah. It's new GVG. Well, maybe that'll wow. decide the game. <laughs> old old school I'm deciding so the game. Man. All right. Yes. Nice. Love it. Trog. Just four. In hit face. That's good. Paladin. He's gonna heal up. I get more annoyed now by paladins when I'm hunter than like. Why? Other classes. Because they always heal up for so much at the end. Like you can't I, do the like two turns. Like the later games, Guardian of Kings is too slow. Even if they do heal, it's like seven mana five six. You lose, yeah, but lose I mean, they also have uh, you know the seal of light now. I think in the long term, it just ah, oh, this guy. It's okay. We're getting onto explosive shot. No. Nope. Oh, that's really slow. <laughs> explosive trap. <laughs> no. Oh crap! I think we have to deadly this. Yeah. Oh, to two drop. I'm not throwing an animal companion into that. Yeah. We have to deadly it. Deadly hero power. Oh god, Animal Companion does develop her port though. We we be praying that yeah. he misses. And he's Deadly Shot is gonna get a lot harder to use against the Paladin. Yeah. That's true. No, that's true. And then we tap. Mm. Or do we fake the uh snipe? Nah, no, no one ever reads that snipe. It's yeah. like, no one it's plays like 50% freezing, 50% explosive. Yeah. Depends on how bad he thinks we are at this game. It is, on the empty board though, it is really hard. Because uh, you want to, if, you, if it is a snipe, you want to play low. I want to play high. He could have played yeah, either one of these. Yeah, it didn't matter. <laughs> This explosive is not looking that bad. Explosive shot or trap? Shot. Explosive shot abuse it, sorry? Yeah. It'll trade with what's on the board. Or we can animal companion and kill command the 3-5 and hope for the best. Yes. I like that much better. Because we hope have a the best. 66% chance at uh, having something that doesn't die here. Nice. Oh, okay. Even the Huffer wouldn't need to that. He's at 16 at this point. Oh, that's true. Cool. But he can and heal up. Fight. He's getting into turn 7. He can heal up. Yeah. That's so ugly. We get the explosive shot into explosive trap. I mean, he's on the timer. I don't feel like we're going to lose this game, but... Waiting to draw a charge minion. Those preemptive uh, shields there. I think we explosive trap your power pass. Right? 
Yeah, I mean, we don't have enough cards. Yeah. No, that seems pretty good. I mean, we have no answer to it, but we're not going to throw a Dark Scale Healer into the Divine Shield. Yeah. Blessing Team has totally wrecked us there. I feel like this is going to be a game where we need Rag again to come save our ass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do we, do we empty Abusive Sergeant? No. No, that's pointless. He's going to be smart enough to kill the 2 2 probably. He wants to check the secret first no, to make sure he's not freezing, right? Right. Yeah. So if he checks either for either one, yeah. he's going to attack the 2 yeah, 2 you're right. the 2 1. You're right. Unless he thinks it's a tricky misdirect. No one plays around misdirect. No one plays around it. I get screwed by misdirects all the freaking time because I see it so often. Oh, man. And I play more aggressive to the face. Yeah. I actually won a game on misdirect on, on the Pultralizer on stream. Um, oh, yeah. That was pretty, mm. pretty great. We actually captured that moment. <laughs> I think there was a game where I had like misdirect and Mogur the Ogre and some crazy thing happened and I killed myself. <laughs> I don't know exactly what <laughs> Like, you attacked a minion, it actually attacked his face, that triggered oh. misdirect, and it misdirected to you. Exactly, something like that. Well, it's an explosive shot, it's gonna be fine. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah, kinda have to. Do we empty Abusive yep. Sergeant just to save some face damage? He's not gonna attack into it, so yeah, definitely. Like if it saves us seven HP or it does two damage on the board, it's pretty much yeah. can get value. Yeah. This is gonna be one of those games where we're gonna draw rag, play it, and then oh, he's gonna he deal lethal the next turn. No, guys, that was that was my bad. I didn't ask. Oh, we could really use rag right about now. Before okay, okay, you gotta wait for it. You gotta wait for it after you his move. You take off your shirt and do the rag dance. I'm I'm scared to know what the rag dance. <laughs> the is. rag roll. The roll run on the floor. Beg for rag to come. Reporting for duty. Yes. Oh wow. Twelve. Twelve. Thirteen. We gotta heal up and tap. No, we don't uh, have to tap. Wait. We heal. We have to heal up. We're in the range of three. We definitely Four. need to heal up. And then the question is, do we tap or Cobra? I think we're dead unless we get Rag and it hits his face. If we get Rag, we can tap the next turn. Yep. So we Cobra. Uh, or or Tall Strider. Oh yeah, yeah. Tall Strider, hundred percent. Sorry, that's much yeah. better. Because if you clear here, he didn't really think about it. His pause wasn't too long. Mm -hmm. He just cleared without thinking. So he's, I'm guessing he has a lot of slow cards, and he's trying to play the long game. Yeah. He's going to trade here. We just need Rag, like you said. Got to play to our outs. It's going to be such an out, because he's going to have such a wide board, too. You're going to have to get very lucky. Very, very lucky. That's... Come on, just end our misery. What is he targeting? Aldor? Follow the rule. Aldor. Does he have a way to remove the other one? Hit with the 6 4, get. What do we need him to get? Something that's like. What's very, a 4? Uh, bad for himself. Double Doomsayer. <laughs> he needs a piloted shredder into the game so. Nope. If only that came in silence. I know. I'm okay. No, Alright no, guys, so we're dead next turn. No, 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 no. He played right into Unleash the Hounds. I wonder where Rag is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Damn it. <laughs> he has 9, 12, 13, 17, 18. Thank you. If only we had a rag here. That would be oh so God. good, just Thank for that you. chance. Well, yeah. Alright. Alright, it was bound to happen. 
It was bound to happen. Get have, us to. Our early game of card quality isn't good enough. It's not. We like our card quality. Period <sighs> is just not good Bad. enough. Yeah. We have very high diversity in cards. That loot hoarder kind of wrecked us. Yeah, it did. That's all right. Seven one, still very good for this deck. Yeah. Waiting Keep a little going. bit. I'm waiting a little bit. I'm strongly superstitious that Blizzard doesn't really know. Yeah, I've seen you do this. I think it's too much, but... All right, I'm going to take a quick break. You guys can start without me. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'll be right back. Wait, uh, uh, let's all take a break. i got to go to the bathroom. Sounds good. Someone tell me from the chat. We were just facing a paladin. Did we have coin? All right, let me know if uh, you guys have any questions. I'm going to be hanging around here. Druha thinks they're taking a fat break. Well, little do you know, they're actually living very close together, so maybe more than just fapping. Okay, yes, coin out Brewmaster. That's right. That is right. Doo -doo -doo. Asking a question, by the way, lets me see the delay, and it's like a huge delay. You guys are like 20 seconds behind. <laughs> Matamad asks, at Arwaka, how have your warrior runs been going since GVG? I played one, it went like six or seven wins, it had crappy cards. Uh, there's no... so the meta is actually really favoring the warrior. Um, because it has the uh, kind of aggro control early game. That, uh, that is incredibly good, because it stops aggro decks in the tracks uh, when you play a fairy war axe. Um, and then a Rathi weaponsmith is also like just incredible. But it got nothing. Like, GVG gave it absolutely no cards. So, the whole consistency of the deck is a little lower. Um, although before, in Nax, it did get to the point where you were having to worry about overweaponing, and you have to worry about that, like, a lot less. So drafting became a little easier as the Warrior, and it was already not that difficult. But it's also less consistent, just generally less good. Um, I think, probably in about a week or two, when the meta settles a little more, Warrior's gonna get, like, even worse. Uh, as Rugsby, at Adukta, is it bad to coin out weapon as rogue when you have auto barber? No. I think it's fine. Um, I prefer not to do it, because it's kind of a pretty big tell. I actually really like coining out the weapon when I have, uh, the, the, the pirate, the 2-3 pirate, because no one expects it now. <laughs> they just all think auto barber, and they, like, totally misplay. Um, but with the actual auto barber, I don't do it all that often. Uh, I will do it obviously if there's a uh, something with one health that's coming. Uh, like I'll use it and then I'll auto barber to like get a two attack weapon for one charge. I think that's really powerful. Uh, the final deception says that I'm really enjoying the stream. Do you guys do this often? Hey, uh, if you guys are new to this, uh, this is the Poltralizer where we get guests. Uh, Ratsma is a very special guest. I'm sure you guys have uh, seen him, and if you haven't, he has his uh, own stream, which is uh, fairly popular, and uh, he also does just arena runs. Um, so we're having like this extra special three-way right now. Uh, but normally we do two ways on the Poltralizer. It's just me or Murps, uh, as well as a co-host. Um, and we stream about twice a week, maybe three times a week, and then we have something called the Arena Coop, which is uh, our like premium offering at 8 p.m. every Sunday, where we like that's where we say our record is. Like you'll see Arena Coop record in places. That's where we like play super serious. We don't experiment, and then we talk through every single play the way you're seeing now, uh, but with two people. Um, and Rat streams. I don't know, you could go to his channel, he probably has a schedule there, but he's on a lot, I, I see him on a lot, um, and especially a lot of like late nights too, because he's on uh, Mountain Time. Uh, Quinal asks, at Adwikta, what do you think is the most powerful arena class at the moment? Me and Rats, uh, me and, uh, I don't know if it was Rats or if it was uh, Andrew earlier, we were talking about this, and I think, I think it may be Paladin. Yep. 
Murph definitely thinks it's Paladin. I I'm definitely like, think it's Paladin. Mm-hmm. I still think Mage may, especially with Flame Cannon. I, I, I'm still going with Mage, but I think Paladin definitely improved. The one class that fell off the grid is Shaman, which Nax oh, was so God. good for the Shaman. And then you get to GVG and you get Crackle, which is a great card. And you get a 3-2-2 two, a two, two drop that can put some face damage in. That's not a bad card at all. But just the meta has shifted to the point where Shaman's fallen off a cliff. Mm-hmm. Uh, Nate the Great, uh, 88, asks, at Adwick, uh, wondering how you guys feel about Paladin after GVD. Okay, we dealt with that. <laughs> we think it's really good. Uh, I'm always afraid when I see Paladin now. Whereas before, I'm always like, oh, yes, Paladin. Because there were such good ways to play around Paladin. Yeah, we're just answering some questions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, uh, we took a break. Uh, Yeah. Uh, 3A Bunches of Numbers says, Ad Adwika, how important is it to have actual 4-drop minions in Paladin if I already have cards like multiple True Silvers, Blessing of Kings, and Consecrates, etc.? I still think it's important to have four mana minions. Uh, <coughs> you need to be able to curve well if you like trade on the board well, for example. You don't want to be forced to like use a true silver on like a Scarlet Crusader. Uh, yeah. It's not the worst play, but you're better off putting out a drop. All right, we're going to now get back to the run with Rats back. Mm-hmm. That uh, that also brings up the point that minions are are never situational, right? You just play on the board. They are somewhat if you play it into like a board or that wrecks your board, but. A little bit less so, because on an empty board you can't play removal. But you can't Hold play. on, Mike Dubs twenty two says, "Out of Rukia, we played last night. I think I was the mage that you had down to one health before I froze something and pinged my raging worker to get lethal." Oh. Mike Dubs twenty two. I don't know if you realize that, but in that game, on like turn five or six, I missed one damage because I played things in the wrong order. So that was a huge misplay on my part that ended up actually costing me the game when you did that move with the uh, raging worker. Uh, Murphs was watching. That was that bad. Was sad. That, that was, was very sad. Because you should have gone 10 wins with that triple frost over deck. Yeah. The weenie uh, rage triple yeah, frost. You saw an exper- a highly yeah, experimental deck guys. that was so experimental we didn't even stream it. <laughs> uh, okay, we throw all this away, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Do you want to go with the explosive trap gambit? <laughs> <laughs> it worked. The one time we did it, it worked. That's true. Oh, why don't we have the coin at least? Ugh. The problem is uh, it's a druid. He has that new two draw that's probably going to be a two three. Um, but yeah, that win you got off me. I'm a little salty on that one uh, for for myself because it was like just a pure misplay to lose one damage, and it turned out that that damage was de- determinative. He's determining whether or not it's a three two or a two three. It's a two three. It's always a two three. It's never correct to play a 3-2. Wait, what? You said it's never correct to play a 3-2? For the Druid against this matchup. Because of Arcane Zuka, Shot? Arcane Shot, just like anything. I'm more concerned about the 3-drop. And the 3-2 does a little bit better. You can hear power and finish it off. Yeah, but I, we can't do a 3-drop here. Yeah, well, we can't do anything here. <laughs> right, but like we just we didn't have the coin or anything. But from his from his side, I, I would always play as a three two unless there's something on the board that needs to make it a two three. I think that's way too easily removed. I like the two three a lot more. Well, let's say that we get a let's say that we get a Misha here. How does he remove? He just pretty much loses a card here. Yeah, but then he, he would have to anti temple himself to remove it anyway. Anyways, let's. Animal Companion. Yep, let's get out the Animal Companion. Let's see what it is. Mm. Yep, we trade it. We trade it. We trade it and we're a little sad. The animal, whatever. But yeah, and on the other side, uh, what if you got like... Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. I guess Leoc is the same either way. Ooh. Leoc is a little bit better. What if we get Leoc into Leoc, then all of a sudden yeah. we kill this guy for free? That's true. Then again, probably just play Lost Tall Strider. Yeah, that's good. If he's forced to hero power. Yeah. That's nice for us. Job's done. <laughs> the manufactured drama is what keeps it interesting. There's no drama. What's the manufactured drama? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, 
argue about children's game, alright? Do we need to kill command that thing? No. So what, we animal Two, companion? Three. Yeah, but we, uh... Play the youthful brew first, right? Yeah, brew and Get animal companion. Oh, okay. Well, that makes me feel better. My dub said that deck ended up getting 12 wins. And Hearth Arena helped him draft that deck. Grr. It's happening. My tools are being used against me. Very effectively, too. That was a really good deck. Hearth Arena actually lowers your win percentage if your name is the Duke deck. Trap yeah, no, I... Oh god. <laughs> Are we just waiting for him to put out two Iron Barks? <laughs> yeah, I, you're 100% right, Murph. This matchup sucks for us. We need to... I know. The board. Nature will Four two is just so bad. You. Yeah. Uh, did... uh, I mean... Uh... God, explosive trap is bad, but the, is okay. So if we don't use it this turn, it's it is a dead card, right? No, it was never a dead card, but it's not uh, a good card. No, it's just not a very good it's card. It's just, I mean, yeah, it's just not a good card. Period. Um, God damn. You want an explosive trap? No, I think we pour two and trade. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Wait, uh oh. What happened? Yeah. Huh? Oh, there we go. Do we trade? I traded, but... I don't know if that was the right move. I think maybe face was the right move. Because he would have traded anyway. Yeah, perhaps. Imagine something like a Defender Barge so though. No. It would have been sick. Oh, we have ways around. Oh, God. It has to be the Explosive Trap now. <laughs> Does it? He's not, he's not gonna do anything. He's gonna kill a 2 1. Maybe, if he decides Probably to. Not. Uh, he's gonna do 2 damage to a 2 4. Drink with me, friend. Oh no, he has even more. Yeah, we. this is not going anywhere. Oh, I'm, I'm glad he brewed that back. It does lose a little tempo, but we gotta kill the mech now. Sorry about that. Yeah. I mean, we have to kill the mech. We don't want him get more, getting more stuff. I mean, we're not trying to play the long game anyways, maybe we allow it, because if we don't kill the 3-2, we play the Interblade Master into a 3-2, right? Oh, I thought you it was kill the three two, then your Interblade Master gets value off the 2-4, he's forced to hear power, which also forces him to play the 3, I the Tinker Town. That's 2-3, he has 2 mana left, he's gonna have to play yeah, another but he has 2 power. spare parts, what are the odds that he doesn't get, you know? What kind of value yeah. off him? No, that, that's actually fair. Really great. It's just not a good situation. I think we have to go with. I think we have to go with the play that's at him. I, I understand. I would still hit the three two. Still in the real power. Just the fact that a trap is up might screw up his play if he wins this free thing. How would you play around this if, if you saw this board? I'd run my 2-4 into the 3-2. Well, he didn't he play didn't the, the mech guy. Oh, because he has more mechs. <laughs> Fair. Fair. Something needs tinkering? Watch it be freeze. I don't think we can win this game. There it's we go. It's a little go. bit too late. That's you what I'm waiting right for. Right now.
Only we could like double explosive trap, Nature like stack them on top of each other. <laughs> Deadly shot tap. I don't think we can deadly here. No, deadly doesn't make sense here. Um, I think we lost Tall Strider, Kill Command the 4 4. Yeah. Oh, that's I right. Kill Command gets triggered. Nature will rise against you. We need to hit an iron bar for the deadly shot and hurry up and draw into our uh, rag. Oh, yeah, we have a rag. We're not dead yet. Although all of his stuff now are like actual cards, I think. Yep. <laughs> he used all his bare parts. That's actually five legit cards in his hand. Oh god. I was hoping one oh, of those would be a spare card. Here we go. Play Iron Bark 50 50. I'm gonna swipe it. Top deck yeah. gets swiped too. Might still have one in his hand. <laughs> oh, he has so many spare parts. He has parts to spare. Well, now the deadly shot just looks bad. I think we don't we deadly here for the 50-50? It has to hit the 40 4 4 so these two trade. And then we have to draw into rag. He's at 22 life. We're not gonna win with the frostwolf front. Well buying us four health here save us. I think it's better off in our hand, so he's scared yeah. of what we might play. We might slow him down if he wants to play around and unleash the house. I'm with you. The Frost Wolf Grunt does nothing here. Yeah. The Frost Wolf stand ready. Oof. Oof. Gross deadly. Yeah, on, cloak it all you want. I wonder where Rag is. Damn it. Hey, this yeah. can work. Yep. Buy this a turn. Or two, maybe. Uh, if only that deadly hit. It, uh, it would be a lot different. <laughs> oh my god. He's taunting us. Well Let us show the rag. Nope. It's okay. Well played. I don't know what we could have done there. That was just. <laughs> yeah. No, the druid matchup is terrible for a hunter. Yeah. It is. Yeah, I don't know. That was just like a dead game. We haven't been drawing amazing hands. Like we're not getting like the double two drop start or something as player two. Yeah. Right. Did we have coin we that, that game? One one game against the rogue and No, we didn't have coin that game. Remember we had two animal companions with no coin. Oh, and that's that right. Out the rogue before where we had like the double web spinner abuse sergeant and the Morgan infiltrator. Yeah. Well... That game was fun. Right. Yeah, if we can't put on early pressure and just make him kind of <sighs> yeah we didn't limit any of his options at all he could just mm -hmm. do whatever he had some all-star huffer oh man huffer. Is, yeah that was that was pretty bad I will fight with honor. Oh, Let's the okay begin. Huh. uh I don't know how you feel about the blue gill. Um, I mean, against against like even a mini bot, blue gill plus echoing ooze, and we still have a one two at the end of turn two. Mm -hmm. I think we might even toss back the evil brew, to be honest. Try to draw into draw into three. It's almost certainly this play. It's a paladin, and we can protect our uh, blue gill. We we can play blue gill on a naked board. And protect it with that equity moves against the one one. I'm with you. I think that's right. Oh, we should have kept it because then we can echo ooze later for the super synergy. Nah, this is slow. Okay. So we coin out the ooze. Yeah. 
Hmm. Play a 3-2. Play a 1-1. One, one. Play hero power, please. Did that animation get longer? I don't remember it being that long. The animation? I think it's always been for, that long. That was Annoying me always. Mm. Wow. I guess, oh, we're in the 